The simple act of breathing is not something most people think about. But if you're struggling to breathe, it's the only thing you can think about. It's a matter of life and breath. You may not know it, but you need a respiratory therapist. The respiratory therapist is one of the most critical members of any healthcare team. In the 24-7 world of medical care, RTs work closely with doctors to diagnose, treat, manage, and educate patients with asthma, emphysema, and a wide range of other respiratory problems, from premature babies to the elderly, from the ambulance to the emergency room, from the hospital room to the patient's home. Respiratory therapists are there to help you breathe easy. I just like the fast-paced, the anything-can-happen kind of environment. Nothing ever stays the same, so you have to be ready to um, improvise uh, at a moment's notice. Uh, patients' lives are in your hands many times. There's always something going on. You're moving all the time, so being a therapist is a very rewarding job. Lung disease is on the rise, and respiratory care is among the fastest-growing specialties in healthcare. That means a rapidly growing need for professional respiratory therapists. And salaries are rising right along with the demand. You are, um, what I was told in school, the experts in the cardiopulmonary aspect of patient's care. Uh, there's usually when the first one's at the bedside to assess the patient. There are eyes, there are ears when it comes to assessing the respiratory status of a patient. And it is extremely important to have very knowledgeable respiratory therapists with strong communication skills that can work as a team, as in a member of the team. Respiratory therapists are needed in just about every facet of the healthcare system, from diagnostics and patient evaluation to treatment and rehabilitation, from physician consultation to patient education, from rapid response emergency care to long-term case management. So this is I love respiratory care. You come in every day, you never know what kind of challenge you're going to face with. It's exciting, the adrenaline is pumping. You learn new things literally every day. It's exciting because it's a challenge. I mean, every day um, there's a new ventilator, there's a new practice. The career of just about every respiratory therapist begins at a hospital. That's where you sharpen your clinical and bedside skills. It's where you treat every kind of patient and every manner of pulmonary disease and trauma. It's where you become proficient in the use of the very latest respiratory tools and equipment. And it's where you earn the respect and trust of physicians and nurses as a valued member of the healthcare team. As a physician, I think the respiratory therapist is critical to a medical practice. They work in all areas of the hospital, they work in outpatient settings, and they work in office settings. Patients in need of respiratory care can be literally anyone of any age. Premature infants who need a ventilator to breathe, young children with asthma, adolescents whose breathing is impaired due to trauma, adults with sleep disorders, and older people with chronic pulmonary disease. Respiratory therapists are the health care practitioners that have the most knowledge, experience, and training in disorders dealing with lungs. Other health care professionals do not have anywhere near the background in breathing. The respiratory therapist has. The assistant has to do it how Though most respiratory therapists begin their careers at a hospital, many move on to work in other settings. Doctors' offices and clinics, diagnostic labs, children's hospitals, nursing homes, corporate and industrial settings, even patients' homes. You get to learn all these new technology that's coming out in the field um, as far as with ventilators and we have um, BiPAP machines. You can take care of neonates, little tiny preemies, you can take care of adults and that whole gamut in between. You can work for anybody, hospitals, rehab center, nursing home, care flight, you know. So I love the profession and uh, I'm enjoying it. Respiratory care is a profession that's always been known for its sophisticated machines and diagnostic tools. Much of what respiratory therapists do is closely tied to medical equipment, like aerosol delivery devices, airway clearance devices, sleep therapy equipment, and ventilator systems, just to name a few. If you have a, a knack for, for toys and tinkering and you have a, that mechanical inclination, plus you want to really do something to help patients, that this is the, the field for you. You know, healthcare is always changing, so you have to keep up, you have to learn. There's always new equipment coming out, always new and different ways to do something. What I've always appreciated about every respiratory therapist I've ever uh, have known is 
that they're so adaptable. Now we have computer touch screens where we were dialing stuff. So each year, like as technology progresses, so are we progressing. There's all sorts of different machines out there that you're going to have to learn how to use and to work with. And you're basically there to keep that patient alive and breathe and keep them comfortable. Hundreds of colleges and universities offer two-year and four-year respiratory care programs, which can lead directly to a credential as a respiratory therapist. That credential opens the doors to one of the most exciting specialties in healthcare. It's amazing and it's a wonderful feeling to see patients get better and go home to walk out as one big happy family. You are there supporting them, giving them life. It feels great. I'm a people person. Um, it's nothing better than see them smile. It's um, incredible. I mean, it's, it's just uh, an incredible feeling to see patients get well, get out of the hospital, and see them improve. And if you weren't there, they wouldn't have been alive today. And to see them to be able to walk out of the uh, hospital, that's where it's great. Respiratory care is a field that can take you anywhere you want to go. You can get into pediatrics, home care, research, education, management, acute care, long-term care, sleep medicine, disease management, and as a respiratory therapist, you can work just about anywhere. Any day, you can pick up the phone and uh, have a, a career uh, at your fingertips and never be without employment. I love being a respiratory therapist. I wouldn't do anything else in the medical profession. There's always going to be many, many opportunities. There'll be a lot of doors open for you. It's probably one of the best decisions I ever made. Want a job you love? Visit the AARC website and explore the career options in respiratory care.